Hi, I'm Rachel Catherine and welcome to RC Summer. Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. Today it is Wednesday the 7th of February. Do you guys say February? Because that's how it's spelled or do you guys say February? I feel like it should be said February, but I feel like that sounds stupid, so I always say February. Anyway, today I feel like I've got like a semi-exciting day. It's like 10 a.m. at the moment. I'm still in my pajamas, but I've already like showered and had breakfast and like gotten ready for the day, apart from my outfit. Probably going to be a no makeup day unless I film today, which possibly could happen. But the plan is today, I just have like some stuff I need to get done, like like vacuum my room and check my P.O. box and pick up some stuff for some videos. I already edited my vlog from yesterday that's going up today, so I just need to schedule that. So like a lot of like little things to get done today. And I might film if I have time, but I don't know if I will. But this morning I've had a really productive day. Like I said, I already edited the video from yesterday and I've just been writing like video ideas. I don't want to show you guys because I don't want to give them away, but I'm really excited about it. I was trying to think of some cool like different videos that I haven't necessarily done before. And some of them I've been planning to do for ages, but some of them I just like thought of this morning. And I like to plan out my videos videos before I actually film them because I feel like they go a lot smoother and I know the shots I want to get if they're an artsy art video or I just know how I want to structure it and how I want to say things if that makes sense. So I planned out four videos this morning. I'm not going to film them all today at all like definitely not. One of them isn't going to go up for a long time because I have to order some stuff online that won't come for a really long time. One of them I probably will film in the next couple of days. Actually the other two I could film in the next couple of days as well so yeah they'll be coming soon. That's just basically the plan for today and then at I think four o'clock I'm hanging out with Georgia and Julia. We're going to Taco Bell and I haven't gone to Taco Bell in a while and I'm really excited about it and then after that I have a meeting and then after that it's squad night so the girls will be over at my place tonight probably. So that's kind of like the little rundown. I think I finished planning my videos for now so I think I'm just gonna like make my bed get changed and then probably head out to my PO box and pick up the stuff that I need to pick up and then I don't know I'll keep you guys updated. OOTD. Today I'm wearing this shirt that you can't even see. This shirt from Milk and Bone Boutique, which I love. I'm wearing these shorts from Cotton On, this belt from City Beach, and my little authentic vans. Dee 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 dee. And change of plans. I think instead of just going to like my PO box and getting stuff from the shopping center there, I'm going to head over to another shopping center because I want to pick up some actual good running shoes. Because I need to do that sometime this week and I feel like today was just a good time to do it so I'm gonna go do that and I'll talk to you guys probably when I'm there I don't know my plan is to literally just walk in walk into the shop get the shoes walk out and don't let myself go shopping anywhere else because there are a lot of great shops there but I don't need anything so I'm not gonna buy anything else has been made got myself some running shoes the reason why I got these ones is because you guys actually recommended them so I know that Asics is just is that how you say it Asics I'm assuming look I know that this is gonna sound really stupid but I just they're not the cutest shoes let's be real they're not Nike Adidas Puma makes such cuter shoes and Asics just aren't that cute but I know they're so much better for my feet and hopefully it's gonna help my ankle situation I was talking to the guy at the store and he recommended these ones K Kayano Kayano he said it better than I can and yeah you guys recommended these ones and he recommended these ones so I'm like they must be good luckily I still fit in the kids size so I could get them for like really really cheap I also went to the outlet store because I just don't want to pay like $300 for a pair of shoes at, at least until I know they're really good so I went to the um, outlet I got these they were super inexpensive compared to what they usually are I got this color there were like a few different colors and I just like decided to go with this one none of them are that cute like look they're not that cute but they're so much more supportive than my old ones and I was talking to another guy when I got to the register and he was like oh like what sort of distance are you doing and I was like talking to him and he's like oh yeah like the kids ones will be fine for you for now um, you can probably do like a half marathon in them and I was like well I'm not planning to 
a half marathon, but that's good to know. But he also said once these ones wear out, he suggests going to the like women's ones because they do have even more cushioning. So they'll be even better, especially if I am doing a longer distance. But hopefully these ones last me a long time. But now I'm going to head off to another shopping center to go to my PO box and go to Kmart to pick up a couple things for videos that I need to do in the future. So it's going to be a bit of a drive, but it'll be good. Wow, great. All right, I've got my bag, which has my list in it, everything I need. Let's go and get my video supplies and check my PO box because I have a package. Hello, my friends. I am home now, and I thought I'd show you guys what I picked up on my travels. You guys already saw that I got my new shoes. Ta-da! I also went to Kmart to pick up some stuff, but those things are for a video and I don't want to give the video away because I feel like it'd be more fun if you guys didn't know what it was. But the other thing I got was a package which I ordered for myself and I'm very excited about it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So I ordered some EXO Beauty Lashes. This is Shine EXO's brand and I've heard really, really good things about it and they're honestly very inexpensive. Like buying four of these was less expensive than going down to Priceline and buying like four pairs of Ardell lashes. Even with shipping, like including shipping, it was still cheaper. Because I think all of these together, so I got four pairs and I think all of it together came to like under $30 Australian, which is really, really good, honestly. I'll show you which ones I got. I wear lashes in my video, so I really like to have them, and it's just annoying to go and buy Ardell ones from Priceline all the time, especially because they're not even, like, that cute, I feel like. So, I have these ones called the Feline. So, as you can see, they're thicker on the outer kind of corner. These ones, which are called the Romantic, which look really, really nice, actually. I really like these ones. It's hard to show you because they're, like, glaring, but that looks really nice. These ones called the Gold Digger, which are very interesting. Like, I've never seen ones like this in store before. So, I'm interested to try these out and see what they look like. And the last ones I got are called the Wonderlust. Oh, actually, these ones are my favorite. They look so pretty. They're so, like, big and fluffy. I know she has another line of lashes as well, which are, like, a bit more expensive because they're a bit nicer. But I just decided to start off with the basics and see how we go. But now it is 2 something p.m. So I'm going to finish off my video that's going up today and upload that. And at 3.15, Giorgio is coming over and then we're going to head out to Taco Bell to hang out with Julia. <laughs> Oh, it's not focusing. I love it. We have a Giorgio. We have a Taco. We have a Julia. We have a bowl of some type. <laughs> I don't really know, but it looks really good. And it's Julia's first time having Taco Bell. And it's our second. I'm so excited about my burrito. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if that... Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Look at the rainbow on Georgia's face. We're just like vlogging like YouTube live. <laughs> Look at the rainbow on your face, Will. <laughs> That's so cool. How does that happen? Where you? What the? Yeah, my hair's covered. Oh, <laughs> You're so smart, Julia. <laughs> we have to say goodbye again. It's been like how long? How many hours has it been this time? Um, this time. Four to almost eight. Almost four. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> and the only reason we're leaving is because we gotta go. Somewhere to be. We got somewhere to be. <laughs> so I don't have any <laughs> Bye bye vlog. <laughs> so George is working on a secret project <laughs> and <laughs> And she wrote words that describe me and I asked her to read them to me and now she is and I haven't heard them yet. I'm so scared. So 50,000 subscribers. I mean not yet. Okay. <laughs> Famous. <laughs> Dad, no! Five year old. Yeah, I agree with In that brackets, one. In brackets, child. I don't know which one it is. Child sounds rude. <laughs> Granddaughter. Yeah, I agree. Hard worker. Oh. Driven. Oh. And a light. When you start off mad, but you get a little bit <laughs> so grumpy. Yeah, sometimes mean. <laughs> Skaters, silly sausage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Funny. Yeah. Good haircut. 
Oh yeah. Always up for a good time. And yeah. always says yes. Yeah, I like those all. Izzy's is pocket rocket. Yeah. Great fashion. Mm-hmm. Pretty. Oh yeah. Really solid pal. <laughs> Real soul pal. I like I think you should pick good haircut for skate and Real Soul Pal or Pocket Rocket for Izzy. Because <laughs> I just think they're great. Scott, 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 Scott. What was the best part of all of your days, Georgia? Jane. <laughs> Izzy, what was your favourite part of the day? Smashing <laughs> Winning your futsal game? Okay, great. <laughs> Gay, what was your favorite part of your day? I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't a good day. What was your favorite part of the day? Yeah. I had a real good day. I don't think I could pick just one. I just had a good day. All day was a good time.